уже здесь это все шумно. up guys so I didn't do too much talking yesterday this heat working outside under the elements is uh, stressful so yeah you just got you guys saw the main picture it goes up and it goes down so here it is pretty much almost done the only thing I gotta do is relocate the brake ABS what is I don't even know what it's called the brake module or whatever chamber goes into it this airline goes into it, and then this uh, plug goes into it. I don't even forgot what it's called something to do with ABS so mine used to sit like right here had a bracket that came out here and it sat right here but unfortunately we have no more room there so yeah and I set the shocks on regular mode regular I forgot what the modes are. It's like three point adjustable. All right here, regular, firm, extra firm. Regular, firm, extra firm. So I set them on regular. I don't know what that means or what it does, but yeah. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm gonna relocate the, let me go grab that ABS. Where the heck did I put it? I'm gonna put it inside the frame. Oh, this one's already kind of hooked up. This thing. So same thing here. I'm gonna put it put it inside. Right here, there's some room. Hopefully, I can mount it somehow. Use this. So what I gotta do? I'm gonna do a bulk head, kind of like one of these, but with a with a thread. So I can thread this this into it. Depends where I put it. I haven't figured out where I'm gonna. I want to put it right here because there's already a hole there, like that kind of. Put a bulkhead there. Throw a 90 and goes to the it goes into here. And then this one is just a half inch uh, regular hose, so I can reroute any way I want it. So I'll route it in. Plug her up. I have to drill a hole to mount it. And the kit's pretty much 100% complete. That's the only thing that I got uh, holding me back right now. Oh, and then I still gotta do this thing. I was showing you guys earlier. But that's a 10 minute, 15 minute install. So yeah, so I gotta brainstorm. See how this airline's going, so I gotta decide I might do a 90 here. Just go straight into there. But a little bit shorter than this, but long enough so when I gotta churn, you'll still uh, go with it, if you know what I mean. I'll practice with this one and then see how much what I need. But other than that, guys, it's sitting on the ground. If you saw the videos from yesterday, it goes up and down. Uh, my valve cover used to be like right here. Now it's right here. I can literally reach over there and touch the turbo almost. Like Manel said, he's like I can almost touch the turbo from the other side. So my buddy Manel in that gray 
gray and red frame W9. The one that's actually touching the ground. I thought I was gonna be able to touch the ground, so I was like telling him, yeah, I'm gonna beat you, I'm gonna touch the ground. But then again, I got these 11 R's, as you guys heard a million times about them. So yeah, that's the project. And I'm gonna touch up some paint, touch a black paint, make it look OEM, original black, whatever. Send it for now, guys. It's like, this project's already, I mean, you can see it's pretty nice and clean. So, talked to all the airlines, can't even see. You can't, we only know for an hour my, that I have an air ride can unless you open the hood and everything's ran nice and factory and yeah, nothing noticeable to have an air ride kit. So, I'll get, I would definitely show you guys how this worked, this tuck, because there's no any other way to do it, mount it anywhere. I could here, but there's lines going from both ends. So, I think it's going to be a pain in the butt to tuck it in there, but I want to do it. And then, I forgot if I showed you guys this, but tuck the AC line right here. Used to go right here on the outside, run directly here, bolted onto here, and came up right here. So I got it all tucked. I just gotta make the mounts. See how there's a turbo downpipe right here for the air ride. I already get that line. Where is it? I already put the heat uh, right here. Oh man. The heat wrap whatever right here so we can get no damage and then I just got another one for the AC I'm gonna throw two of these on from one of these scrap trucks that we got taking it apart and wrap that AC line in this as well so we're gonna have I already cut this one in half so I'm wrapping two of these I think that should be enough to keep the AC line from burning up from that turbo so yeah all right guys I'm, I'm out here chilling in the shade it is for like 95 or 96 degrees out i'm not cut out for the i ain't cut out for it i'm too fat <laughs> peace what do i oh see i don't even i don't even know where to look for the camera <laughs> what's up guys Day 4,489, we're still not on the road, still haven't moved more than 20 feet. <sighs> Look at this. Something to stitch in the bag. Yep, you're right. That right there. So I gotta sham it off up to DOT standards. So yeah, to cut off like quarter inch hopefully that should and then oh that's just grease from the ball joint yeah yeah guys get an air kit they said it'll be fun bunch of shimming and rigging and <clears throat> I was I started doing the relocating the ABS brake module that's all going sideways cuz um, trying to relocate it behind here like I said just made some airlines. We got 90s. Gotta drill these holes out bigger. Just a bunch of old fun, guys. Bunch of old fun. Can't put it in that hole because I got this airline there. Just hoping to get this hole. But now we're running a couple issues when you turn the wheel. So yeah, it's just uh, fun stuff, guys. Fun stuff. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna go. This is day. You you heard what day it is. Working on this kit. Please. I'll. Hopefully the next clip will be the fi final finish. Look at that. Look at that. Great. Will be the final finished product. Cause I'm getting tired of this thing. This kit. This air ride stuff. It ain't cool anymore. Well, guys, here it is. It's all, and it's all glory. Man, they actually sit weird, different. I think at the first, uh, 
test ride drive there's a couple issues I gotta show you guys but I mean the main things there so I'll show you the oh man I should have made the video oh I have a little like a snapchat video so I'll probably just add it to that because I don't want to climb underneath the truck anymore got my uh, front gauge right here this is kind of too high about 50 55 is the riding but since I'm the, the, uh, running the 11 R's 24 fives it's kind of close the hood is really close to the to the rim so I'm trying not to mess up my fenders man why is my steering wheel like that oh man that is weird yeah, my steering wheel's not straight now. Dang! I didn't even touch it. The steering. Anything to do with the steering. That is weird. That is weird. Man, it feels weird. It's got like a... Quabble, whatever they call it. That is weird. I mean, it's smoother, I guess. First impressions, guys. That's weird. My steering wheel is not. When you drop it, it also moves back and forth. So I have to, uh, I have to readjust it or something. I already got that. Puller. I'm gonna pull over here and see how the see how the ride is. The fenders. Yeah, that is where the steering wheel is. I definitely need to get different tires. We'll turn the steering wheel. See how close we are. Yeah, it's so weird. The steering wheel is uh, oh, it's not that bad. I could drop a little bit more, an inch. Oh, there you go, guys. Let me drop it. 250, there you go. See, then you're gonna hit a pothole or something. That is too, that is too close for comfort. You hit a pothole or something. Oh my goodness, look at that. That was too close for comfort. <laughs> I hit a pothole and it'll freaking rip out my, uh, the truck will go side to side, it'll rip out my freaking fender. Yeah, next thing is get new tires and fix the issues that are going on with it. All right guys, I'm gonna go try to take it for a ride on the main highway, main road over there down the street and uh, keep you guys updated. This is the this is the my view right now. You guys you guess what the views is. Here's the thing I was telling you guys about. That plate. It's gonna be the steering stabilizer. So I didn't drive the truck much. But there was a huge wobble in the steering wheel. I've heard people talk about it. And this is why I got this steering stabilizer. The two shock system is supposed to prevent that wobble, but it's still there. 
I didn't, I didn't drive it much because see that bag is touching so we didn't do much driving yeah but there was a, definitely a wobble so we'll see if this wobble changes when I um, get the stabilizer I gotta mount it up tighten it so yeah I'll let you guys know how it goes there's my uh, ABS module relocated still gotta mount it but I put heat stuff heat uh, tubing whatever protector so the exhaust doesn't touch it oh, I'm gonna... it's gonna be like this towards the frame using those existing holes so yeah but yeah this thing's relocated just gotta re gotta mount it use that other bracket yeah and this tubing supposed to protect the heat from the heat I mean it won't be touching touching but it's definitely there's heat out here you know so it'll be like this three four inches away hopefully that tubing heat shield protects it so I did all the both the airlines and this ABS module stuff and in, in that tubing stuff the only main concern is this pipe right here, the exhaust down pipe, pretty much. So, I think that should do it. See, it should be good. I bought, um, or is it? I bought a stainless steel uh, zip ties because I had them for a second in plastic zip ties, but you know, plastic and heat don't mix. So yeah, I got oh yeah, right here. Stainless steel zip ties Should be Gucci All right guys, I gotta get back to wrenching Wrenching her Let's practice with that side I don't even get any dirty Dirty nasty Please 